Hello and welcome to a mech build video for the Black Lantern. We're going to take a look at a skirmishing type, run them down and kill them as they're getting weakened sort of design. We are going to be trying to just pick off opponents that are out on the flanks by themselves or have uh, been damaged by the front lines. So let's take a look at the build and uh, what it can do. We have four heavy medium lasers, one, uh, two in each arm, and these are the D left and right arms, which are, I believe, only from the reinforcement pack. So if you do not have the reinforcement pack, you probably won't be able to do this design. We have a pair of light machine guns in the arms as well, a ton and a half of LMG ammo, which is a little bit of ammo boosted by 10%, so it, it's, it's okay. We can, uh, say, swap out some, maybe a little bit of armor shavings, off of the head and a little bit off the legs if we want to take this half ton into a full ton but we're gonna see how this works for now we have the ecm in the head a lot giving us that level of sneak and then we have a massive engine and mask which gives us a top speed boost of 23 percent which everything included with my speed tweak and everything it takes us to just shy of 150 kph so this mech can outrun basically anything except lights which like really fast lights that's, that's quite amazing you can outrun arctic cheetahs <laughs> but in the skill tree we have got down the firepower getting all the laser duration because the heavy mediums take a very long time to burn you want to have that as long as you can you want to reduce that as much as possible we got the one magazine capacity because it's right there uh, the other magazine capacity would be too much of investment to go get, so we are avoiding it. We've got the left side of survival, which gives us the majority of armor boosts and a couple structural skeletal densities as well. Mobility, we got our speed tweak. We don't need the rest of mobility because it's already pretty agile, this mech, but speed tweak is essential because we already such, have such a high top speed, it's worthwhile to increase it by a percentage. Operations, we got our cool run. And sensors, we get our enhanced ECM. Now, you could alternatively, if you wish, you can move around some things and maybe get seismic or whatever. But yeah, this is a halfway decent skill tree for it. Uh, some variations you can do to this build is if you don't like the heavy mediums, you can go for a little bit longer range for the energy weapons. I chose the heavy mediums because the range profile of 270 optimal and 540 max is very close to the 250 and 500 of the light machine guns, so they work at pretty much the same range. You, what you can do is if you have the A left torso, you can put on instead four ER mediums and then maybe like drop a heat sink here, put on a fifth ER medium. You get a little bit longer reach because now you can go out to uh, max range of 800, you know, with uh, the range boost that this mech has, that goes up to 944, which is quite a good reach for uh, this particular mech. Allows you to be a little bit more pokey with your LMGs serving more as a backup, where if you're doing sort of that heavy laser design, you need the additional heat sink. You only can really take four, I find. Even though it says 1.49 down here, this thing gets hot, and it gets hot fast and uh, rely more on your light machine guns. So we're gonna give this mech a try and use it to hunt down people that are crit and use those uh, heavy medium lasers, that's a 40 damage alpha strike with those four to focus on particular components using our speed and ECM to get really good shots on people. So hopefully we can get this going in a few matches. And for our first match, we're on HPG Manifold Skirmish. We're in the far spawn, so we need to get fucking moving. Because we're in the bad spawn. This is where mechs go to die. Let us regroup with our team as fast as physically possible. Alright, feel a little bit better with the team. poke the top here our energy weapons well actually all of our weapons are pretty much in cockpit level on our arms so we can do pretty good peaks with this 
Looks like our guys are actually taking the top, which is awesome. Oop, there's an acquired. artillery coming in there. We can use our mask and get the hell out of there. New target acquired. <sighs> Damn it. I can get my hit, but he also can get his dual heavy gauss into me, which is a good thing. Alright, let's use our mobility. Let's go flank. Get that 150kph going in short bursts here. Got this Highlander 2C going right. New target acquired. It's just coming up on this Huntsman and taking that Huntsman. Oh god, I can't drive. He's falling back. Let's not get in his way. But let us give him ECM and pop up in another angle. And see if we can... New target acquired. Yeah, get a nice hit on that Shadow Cat. Open up his back. New target acquired. I'm going to shoot my allies, but trying to get that guy's leg from underneath. Let's keep moving. Got to use that mask, man. It's on there. I can't take it off, so might as well use it. And just <laughs> go with this piranha, man. Mask, mask, mask. Away. Give me away. Give me away. <laughs> oh, shit. He hit me with the heavy gosses. That was not a good thing. Ah. <sighs> That was me screwing up there. But we do have the high ground comparatively to those guys. So we can work them from above. His One of his Gauss rifles is gone. He is having issues with his life. And I th we might be able to just jump down and get him. But we are going to push the Stormcrow here, who is weak. We're going to chase him down as we have some machine guns for it. Oh, hi, Kid Fox. Let's bully the Kid Fox. Here, Kid Foxy. Oh, come back, Kid Fox. I just want to bully you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Kid Fox. You are dead. Alright, let's get this guy next. We're really toasty right now, but we're just going to machine gun his side torso. Take that side off, and then get back into cover with our mask. Take him out. Excellent. Next! Linebacker, eat machine gun. <laughs> Ooh, enemy underneath. Let's go get him. Open up his back and start to rip open his side from the rear. Oh, we'll dodge him. He could have taken out my uh, opened CT there. Let's dive in with our, our light here, going at the same speed as the light. Running around, get him to turn around come around this side here and help finish him off. Excellent. <laughs> and we win. Excellent. Good game for our opponents. So the only really thing that I screwed up there was I took that dual heavy goss to the CT, which opened me up. That hopefully shouldn't have happened in a, in a good world, but Got some people recognizing us in, in chat here. A zero 07 to them. 318,000 C bills earned. We got the hero bonus and premium time running. Two kills, seven assists. 351 damage. Not too terribly good as we did do some team damage. We're going to try to improve on that in the next match. But let's try this out in another match. And for our next match with the Black Lantern. We are on a Frozen City Assault. Alright, let's move. Alright, do we have a plan here? Negative. Hello, middle, little Miss Lynx. I am faster than you. Goodbye, little Miss Lynx. <laughs> oh my god. I love the mobility of this thing. Now, it hardly has any firepower, of course. <laughs> it only has like 11 and a half tons to work with, but it takes that 11 and a half tons. Is it 11? Yeah, I think it's 11 and a half. It, it moves it around the battlefield very quickly on a pretty durable platform. I mean, it could maybe use a tiny bit more durability, but not that much. Let's see. Target acquired. They're pushing forward. They're moving into Echo 6, Echo 5. 
If you got Gauss and stuff, they're open in the open, Echo 5. They are coming to us. Uh, get ready on the left side flank. Alright. Let's move over the left side further. Then. Let's check this ramp here. Here they come. Let's move even further left because I have the mobility to get over there quickly. Ooh, right here. Enemy Black Lantern. He's using Serum 6s. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm on your butt. Oh, your leg is open? Oh, let me take your leg. Oh, your torsos are open? Ooh, goodbye. Alright, get out of here. They're coming this way. Use that mobility. Reposition. Now that they've settled back into different targets, push back in with top speed. It's going after this hunchback 2CA. Ooh, one of his torsos is almost off. He's right. I can take that. Got it. Thank you, thank you. A little bit of a frame drops there, but that's okay. We're going to go for that other side torso. I just need to get the armor off of it, and then it falls apart. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, I stayed too long there. Let's move out. Let's get out of there. I, I took some damage on the leg. That's not what I should have done. I thought that side torso was going to fall off much earlier than it is, but he's just about dead anyway. So that's good. That guy went down. They got a couple of assaults way in the backfield, not supporting them. We should be able to push hard right now. There's two I've hundred hunters in the back. Just aren't doing anything for their team. Kilo in the backfield is just wasting a hundred tons standing there. We can we have the advantage. We should push, push, push. Let's just charge him. No fear. Get this constant DPS on this guy. Gotcha. Moving out. There's a guy behind us. Ah, he's about to fall over. Let's go get this assault mech. You're mine! Down. There's another, there's the other 100 tonner. Go get on his butt. And he's down. Whew. That was an intense match. The okay, the mistake I did there is I I, I just couldn't get that the damn hunchback 2C's side torso off. <laughs> It stayed too long, got my leg a little bit damaged. However, we did make the right call to the team that they did have 200 tonners sitting in the back, not contributing to the fight very much. So being aggressive there was good. And we got 341,000 C bills earned with one kill, six assists, and 467 damage done. So I think this is good for showing off what this mech can do. I, I enjoy this sort of fast flanky uh, version of the black lantern maybe you could do it with some pulse lasers instead of heavies uh, you could do it with a different form of machine gun because i chose the light simply because of ammo economy on those and you can maybe go with regular machine guns if you feel like maybe you don't need as much ammo with them and you just want the little bit extra dps that they provide but otherwise this is a pretty decent little sort of flanker, skirmisher, uh, run down your weakened enemies sort of thing. 
But that is going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.